Well, Jess, I know you're not a big fan of, uh, of James as a, as, a, as a person and some of the things he says. What about as a fighter? I mean, are there things that you look at him that, that you admire? No, I don't admire anything about his fighting style. Uh, point fighter, uh, constantly going backwards. But, you know, rank, he's ranked number 10 in the UFC, so he's definitely a, it's going to be a big challenge for me. I've got to go out there, I've got to get a W, uh, be a little bit more patient than normal, pick my shots. Uh, he doesn't like to get hit. He, he gets hit going backwards, and that's the worst way to get hit. So when I do touch him, he's going he's gonna to feel it. He's going to not like it. Do you feel like there's anything that he does specifically that you do have to concern yourself with, that you have to watch out for, the position you don't want to be in, or, you know, a range? Yeah, he's got good darts chokes, good uh, guillotine chokes. I don't need to stick my neck in there. Uh, and you know, get caught one of those. And I know you're talking about you know being a little more patient, but I got to ask you: if you had the choice of going in there, one punch knockout, and being done in 10 seconds, or having a back and forth five round brawl like like we know you can, and walking away with a hundred thousand dollars in bonus checks, which one would you do? I'll take the one punch knockout and take my 50 grand and be happy with that. If he can last eight minutes, he gets 50 grand too. How do you feel physically? I feel great. Yeah. I'm Unbelievable. Ready to go. Yeah, I wish it was today. I wish it was right now. Is it, is it easier to get motivated for a fight uh, after all the trash talking compared to previous times when you fought Alvarez and Dustin? No, you're, I'm, a, I'm a competitor and I've lost two in a row, so I don't need any extra motivation right now. I need to go out there and I need to prove to myself, prove to, prove to the world that, I, you know, Eddie Alvarez, just I can't say it enough, the two of the best in the world uh, in the lightweight division. I was right there. Um, you know, my life would life would be a lot different right now if I, you know, if I got those W's, but I did not. That's the way uh, the way it goes, and I'm, you know, content with the way those fights went. Um, those are the way I wanted to fight those fights. Those are the game plan I went in to fight those fights uh, with those guys. So yeah, I mean, I I don't regret anything I've done. Um, yeah, I could have taken them down maybe once or twice, but I, again, this isn't the this isn't the fight to go out there and again stick my neck st stick my neck in there and like, you know get darts choked or even get stuck in that position. That being said, does your uh, does your fighting style change at all, or are you gonna use more of your wrestling going into this? No, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I have no idea. I go in there. I mean, I'm definitely gonna put pressure on him. I'm gonna pressure him with my feet. I don't necessarily need to to throw as much, but I'm gonna pressure him with my feet. He's gonna be constantly going backwards, which is a given uh, with James. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a tough fight. A uh, tough fight to to figure out. Uh, you know, I gotta go in there. I gotta figure it out at the beginning. I'm not gonna go in there and. Uh, yeah, you know, six foot three, it's not something normal. It's not something I'm used to. So it will be something I need to go out there. I need to fill it out and uh, figure it out. How do you train for six foot three? Do you, uh, you train with a lot of big guys. Yeah, I mean, a lot of 85ers, a lot of 70s, a lot of 70 pounders. Uh, went to Vegas for a week, trained with Extreme Couture. Uh, I've been training with the uh, Elevation Fight Team uh, in Denver. So, you know, they got Neil Magny. They got uh, a bunch of tall guys there. I guess in any of your fights so far, like your wrestling, your All-American, you know, you got UNC, and then you haven't, you know, you've been straight boxing, go for the knockout each yeah, time. I mean, is, I that, used... is that after these losses to Eddie and Dustin, I know against Michael, it knocked him out, but does your mindset and your, your thought process in the ring change a little bit as you enter this fight as far as, um, you know, not having maybe your chin out there a little bit as much and going for that knockout right away? I never have my chin out there. I mean, um, if I am going to take a punch, I'm... You know, I'm aiming to take it on the forehead, um, but I've used my wrestling in every single fight. Um, every single one of those guys tried to take me down, and they couldn't. Um, you know, I scramble, I scrambled out of each and every takedown that they attempted. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. That's how I wrestled. Okay, and I mean, some wrestlers depend on ground pound a little more. I mean, do you see yourself uh, maybe thinking that no ground idea. pound's a possibility? I don't know, guys. It's a fight. You guys... If you've ever been in there, you, if you have a lot of plans, then you're an idiot because <laughs> shit will hit the fan real quick. Um, especially when you're, you're counting on something and it doesn't happen, and then what do you do? You know, do you, do you have a plan B? Do you have a plan C? It's too much thinking. I go in there, I react, I fight off my reactions, I believe my timing is the best. Um, and yeah, that's what, that's what I fight off of, intuition. I've trained my whole life for this. Four years old, I started training, uh, you know, in hindsight, for this, for August 25th, first James Vick. Uh, the last two fights, I can't, you know, can't harp on it enough. There, I was right there. I had a bolt hurt. I had a bolt on the ropes. Um, you know, I just became complacent in my position. I thought I had him uh, more hurt than I guess I did. 
Um, Dustin, like I said, I went out there. I tried to, you know, coming off the stool in the fourth round, I was like, I just got to kick this guy two or three more times and he's done. And, you know, I forgot that I'm fighting the best in the world. I didn't forget, but um, became complacent. Cool. Yep. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Justin.